through a slammer wall. The one person trips. Uh, this tour has been awesome, man. It's always cool, like, getting in there different bands, man. Getting on the road, getting in there the dudes. And, uh, yeah, just hanging out, having a good time with my brothers. And mm -hmm. Brothers on tour, brothers in the band, meeting the fans. Um, from city to city. Um, seeing stuff that I haven't seen before. Everybody on this tour so far has been super fun to hang out with, super fun to get drunk with, amazingly talented. Are you ready for what Tony says? Got to give! Been great crowds, a uh, lot of movement. The, the fan support that we got on these two tours was enormous. I mean, we had people that flew in from other from other states just to see us play. The first was the five or six shows we played. All every show was perfect. The first show rocked, the second show was bigger, the third show was bigger, the fourth show was better, the fifth show had a bigger stage. Every show got better and better and better. So we hit Toronto and we were stoked. It was going to be a big show, they were saying it was sold out. About halfway through the set, a genius decided to stack microphone stands behind all of the cabs. And when we hit our 808, they fell onto the cab which ripped the speaker input straight out. So my guitar cuts out. So they finished the set without me. That was bad omen number one. So we had a 23 hour drive onto Winnipeg. Once we hit Thunder Bay, we broke down. Of course, it happens to be on a holiday. So we stayed in Thunder Bay for the day. Got sorted out, new fuel pump in the van, made it three hours down the road, and we broke down in Ignis. Public announcement. Days. Yeah, public announcement. If you go to Ignace, Canada, and you need a tow, don't, just don't go to Ignace, Canada. Okay, that's it. Mark it off. That's it. Game over, bros. I mean, basically, our van broke down right as we passed this place, and it, I mean, the town's so small, you blink, you miss it. There's nothing there. It, it just stalled out, and it's not starting. That's what happened to us in the last town. So yeah, we're just fucking pissing money away, and nobody knows what the fuck's wrong with it. We're just taking a fucking wild guess, shot in the dark. You saw a distributor cat for that make and model for nine. I would, I would look. I'm not sure. He didn't have a fuel pump, he didn't have a distributor cab, he didn't have We were on the side of the road for about eight hours or so. At this point in time, we were three hours away from the nearest civilization. We didn't really know what to do at that point. I will use a guitar cable to get this motherfucker started. Yeah. Travis, <laughs> get out there and hitchhike, babe. Show some leg this time, it'll happen fast. I'll leave the mosquitoes. Swarms. The mosquitoes. And black flies. 
I got it all together. Just want you to know that I'm eating you. No, we're eating Jow Out first. We're eating Jow Out first. Pretty much at this point, we were all starting to wonder whether or not we were even going to get out of this place. Yeah, we finally got a tow from the <laughs> truck driver we thought was going to <laughs> kill us and wear our skin. The big catch of that was that he was only going to take two people of the six of us. Four of us decided we were going to hide in the back of the van. So we're all under blankets hiding in the back of the van while we're driving. This dude got his other flatbed to go get our trailer and he thinks we're in a taxi. Eric waits maybe a minute and jumps out and goes, all right, you guys gotta get out of the van. Get out and go hide in the woods. So we jump out, we sprint into the woods. So we're hiding in the woods for a solid half hour, 45 minutes. We finally get a text from, I think it was Billy said, yeah, you guys got to meet up with us at this bar. It's on the other side of town. And we end up walking, I'd say, roughly a mile from the tow yard to this bar. Some curtsies. Top rope! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't get skipped out of here. Man. What? What are you going to do? Come in here with like, a steel chair? Oh, a steel chair! Oh. So let's recap on that. Small ass dick. fucking town in the middle of bumfuck Canadian wilderness. The town is this fucking big. They have one bar, uh, one inconvenience store, uh -huh. um, one bank, uh, two cops, two cops, a one crazy ass psycho tow truck driver mm -hmm. that doesn't do doesn't take you where you want to go. Right. Just kind of kidnaps you and uh, decides he's going to take you back to his lair. Two mechanics that ain't worth a fuck, and one mechanic that actually uh, Was helped awesome. us. None of the shops in the town really wanted to mess with it, so we decided to push our van across this tow yard into this little tiny garage, banking on the hope that they would help us out. We had to push it down this little hill. And then it was up a steep <laughs> hill to this auto garage. I'm just glad Vern didn't tie us up and, uh, you know, skin us alive and make some skin suits out of us. Everyone can eat shit! A big bag of shit! We had to wait two days in, the, in that place dude. to get our stuff fixed and get back on the road. Unfortunately, we had to miss a few shows. We apologize for that, but yeah. things happened, and it could have been a lot worse. I mean, every show was going to be awesome. Yeah. The show tonight, all of us were really looking forward to. We were going to see friends, familiar faces. Um, so yeah, it, yeah, it's dude. a bummer. Which is Actually, we should probably be playing right about now. But it's life on the road, man. <laughs> oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! Just kind of go with it, you know, and things will work out. Poor gods will look out for you. You'll be alright. Thank God, thank God half of us are all mechanics here. This guy here is the, the, the hero. This guy here is the hero. I fixed so much shit this tour so far. Yes, you have. I did. Yes, you have. Who was it? Psychropic's trailer. Yeah. I fixed uh, Arch Spire's. Uh, Link box for their, their in ear monitor system. Our motor. Nah! <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Check me out now. I'm not as laid back on stage as I am in real life. Um, yeah, I kind of make funny faces. <laughs> Can we insert yeah, a clip of his face right there? Being on stage is always a chance to like release frustrations and your inner demons and just kind of let the hawk out, I guess. Everybody knows you 
knows who you are until you're on stage. Yeah, That's when they know who you are. I love that part. I love the fan interaction, man, especially on stage. It, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And yeah, I love giving back. I love giving back. Music oh, yeah. has given me so much in my life. Um, and I just, I owe it mine. So I, I want to give a, a really special thank you to everybody who bought shirts, the people who put us up and let us crash at their houses, let us shower. You guys are all absolutely priceless people. The people who came to multiple shows on this tour just to hang out, made it a point to come talk to us. We love you all. Thank you very much. After we get back from this tour, uh, working really hard and busting our ass to finish that and get this album out because I know people have been asking, people have been wanting a new VD album. I so yeah, we, we are working on new material to all of the people who are relentlessly asking for it. Keep your pants on, it is coming. I think the fans will really enjoy it. We're gonna fucking shit down everybody's search. It's gonna be a good time. More blast beats. More headbang. New march. More slams. More brutality. More visceral discord.